there comes a time in the market um, when we see certain things like certain data, certain stuff on the charts, where we, our pockets start to itch, right? For two reasons. One, either we want to cash out and we want to bring that money back into our pockets um, and enjoy it and have a great time. Or two, um, what we want to do is we want to reinvest, right? Or just go out there and buy some dips and whatnot and then carry on and make a little bit more money. There comes that point. And for me recently, I've had many phone calls, many conversations uh, with many of the people that I know um, who are in like 50-50, like some people want to buy, some people want to sell, right? And both of them are correct, right? Let's just put it this way. So the way the, the, the market is structured right now, short term, yes, you can get in, you can jump in, uh, make a bit of money and then get the hell out. And I've been advising everybody, like just kind of giving a friendly advice. Um, of course, I'm not a financial advisor, so do not take anything here as financial advice. So I've been telling people, look guys, you're gonna get in, no problem, get in, but make sure your best friend is stop loss, right? So you have a stop loss uh, in place to uh, prevent like any losses from happening. Now, the other side of the people who are thinking about selling, they're doing the opposite. So they're getting ready. They're like, okay, we've made significant amount of money from the bottom of the market. We've held on for good two years, three years. Um, and now we're feeling a bit iffy. We think we might want to cash out. Now, what I've said to these guys, and again, not a financial advice. I said, guys, focus on taking your initial investment out and some profits, of course, right? But initial investment is the key. If you can take your initial investment out that you made two years ago, and you still have a significant amount of BTC, Ethereum, whatever you choose, Solana, uh, XRP, doesn't matter, right? Um, you are in a good position because now you have your funds back, so you're not at a loss anymore, and you're still holding, so your whole portfolio is there, and now you can re-enter, replay, do whatever, and of course, if you take a little bit more, like a profit, you can treat yourself, right? So that's how I've been kind of advising people or like just giving my opinion literally right this is not an advice just my opinion so that's the situation we're in and i think that's the time of the market that we're in right now so people do understand that um this market like the entire bull run or the bull market to be precise has been an extended one it's been going on for some time um we have seen some spikes all the way up to close to seventy four thousand, which was about seventy three thousand seven hundred and something right so we did have a nice little peak. Um, we did dip down. Um, in fact, when we dipped down, we went close to, I think it was about 40 something. I can't remember what the number was when we dipped. Um, we did have a major dip, um, actually. I'm gonna quickly, just quickly go and see how far we dipped, right? Because it's quite important, right? So when we did have a dip, we did go to um, almost $49,000, right? $49,000, that's a big dip. From 70, uh, or close to 74 to 49, that's a lot, right? It's like $25,000. However, it didn't phase a lot of people. And of course, a lot of people were still in profit, so they were fine, they were still hodling. And then there were a lot of, um, stop losses activated when that happened not a problem some people bought the dip back in and then carried on again so again people have been in profit to be honest i think 10 15 maybe 20 percent of the people who didn't follow the instructions and who didn't understand the market um who didn't have the right setting have lost money um others have been in usdc usdt in the fiat uh, equivalent of crypto for some time since the market peaked out and the rest have just been in crypto. So, um, you know, like BTC, Ethereum, Solana, XRP. So they've been doing okay. So, so far, so good, right? Now, we've formed a pattern, right? And a lot of people have talked about patterns, like bigger, larger patterns. So there's one pattern that's been forming since 2021 um, to the peak. So 2021 to the peak that we recently had up to 73,700, whatever. Um, and then the current pattern, some people have identified it as a cup and handle. To me, no, it doesn't look like a cup and handle because the handle has not formed. Um, just it doesn't look like a handle at all. But the cup is there, to be honest, right? The cup is there, handle just hasn't formed. So that's kind of messed up a few things. However, if I take away the cup completely and just look at the bottom and the top, right? And then look at the pattern again, right? It looks more like a flag. 
and I've talked about this before on another video. I've talked about it on Discord. By the way, guys, um, a lot of the conversations I have with some of the community members in XYZ are on Discord, right? So you are welcome to go and join the Discord. I'll put a, a link below where you can go and find all my links and whatnot, right? So anyway, that's that. I'm not plugging anything here. I'm not trying to sell anything to anybody. So that's that. Now, um, I've, I've spoken to people and I said, look, guys, um, you know, the pattern just doesn't look right. Of course, some of these conversations are private as well because um, I do have conversations with clients and friends um, who contact me privately. So that's a different story. But anyway, they're all part of the community. So um, for me, it looked like a flag. Now, the flag to me showed two numbers, right? So if, I, if the flag is complete, right, so that means the flag plays out exactly as it's supposed to, um, it gives me one of two numbers. Uh, one number is $86,000, right? That tells me that could be the peak and we might end. Or the other higher number is 103, $103,000. Both are there, right? But I see a problem. And the problem is, is that we've been kind of battling the trend, right? We've been going on for some time now. We've been battling the trend. So the trend is downward and we're trying to break past that. Now, of course, we've made significant uh, significant improvements, right? Where we've gone all the way to about $64,000 just last week, actually. We actually almost tested $64,000 and we're kind of battling around the $63,000 to date, right? In fact, I'm gonna shift over to today just to tell you what the exact number is. And I'll also give you the um, time and date, <laughs> if I can find it, give me a second. So the price is 63,195. Um, that's the actual price right now. And for the date, let me give you the date. Um, what's the date today? Uh, right, so date today is the um, 24th of September, 2024 it's a tuesday for me here right now in uk and the time is 16:34, which is 4 34 p.m right so that's exactly the time the date when i've given you this uh information uh, regarding the uh chart right so that way at least you know that we are where we are right now so this is where we're battling it out now for me looking at the current thing there is a higher probability for us to actually go to the higher numbers in fact I don't think 64K was anything important, right? I think we can smash through that within the next, uh, I would say, day, day and a half, right? We can actually smash through that. The number that I'm looking at is the 68 to 69,000. There's a bracket there, 68 to 69,000 dollar level. That's the level I'm actually focused on because that is has more significant data. And in the past, we've also had a lot of um, action around that area. I always say like, where's the traffic? That's where the, uh, we need to look at. So we've had a lot of traffic around that area for some time. So 68K definitely is important. In fact, if you look at 2021, um, that's kind of where this whole data kind of starts. So, you know, great. We know where, where this data is from. Um, in, we know what to expect. So that's more of an important level. 74, 73,700 was just a blip for us because we didn't really close at that number. If we close at the number, yes, that would have been a significant resistance level for us. So that's how I'm looking at it. Now, of course, a lot of the guys have gone to, uh, I mean, there's a one or two people on Discord and many people on um, private conversations who said like, should we buy or should we do this? Now, of course, I'm not a financial advisor. I can't tell you what you should do. But based on the probabilities that we have now, yes, we are going to test up to the 68K. If we can smash through the 68K, then I think 86K is back in play. However, as I've mentioned in the previous videos, like a month ago, two months ago, three months ago, even about six months ago, I've mentioned this. Um, in fact, one of the videos I mentioned my early warning system, um, it's got a thumbnail and whatnot. And I said, guys, you know, uh, I, I can say the bull market is over. That is still valid. To, to invalidate that, we need to get above the 68K, right? So whatever I've said there is still valid because it doesn't matter where we are now unless we can completely obliterate the trend, right? Um, we can't really say anything positive, right? So keeping that in mind, we can still make money, right? We can still make money. We can still go in, trade, long, short, do whatever, right? Depending on the trends, obviously, right? We can still go in and do that. We can do it on multiple time frames. It's not an issue, right? So you've got to when you do the trade or when you open up a long or something like this you have to have to keep this in mind and say right okay market could be over right and i'm entering i'm going to do a long position for example 
Um, what do I need to do? Well, number one thing, as I said earlier on in the video as well, your best friend is a stop loss, right? You have to have a stop loss. Now, whatever difference, like the delta, you want to set it up 2%, 3%, 5%, 10%, it's up to you, depending on how much you're willing to lose, right? But you have to keep this in mind that the market could be over at any point. And the same applies to the shorts as well. Somebody wants to short the market from 68K, right? Which is a high probability that we go to 68K and then we might get a little rejection. So of course your shorts will win. You need to also have a stop loss because what if it doesn't and it smashes right through and goes and tests the you know the the upper levels of the 68 69 k probably even now tries to do a new all-time high so of course you're going to end up bleeding out as well so either way whatever you do short or long you need to need to have a stop loss in place because if you don't you're just getting ready to get wrecked right so that's the strategy um, for anybody who wants to trade the market. Believe me, there's plenty of opportunities out there you can trade it. Now, whatever coins you pick is entirely up to you. The market leader currently is still BTC based on the total market dominance. That's all, nothing more. I'm not favoring BTC over anything else. I'm just saying it is the leader. It is kind of leading the market. Now, of course, other coins could be performing a lot, lot better unless you're already in it there's no point jumping in at the last minute because it's already done what it needs to do right so there are coins that are still doing 100 percent, 200 percent pumps right but those pumps don't last more than a few hours and that's all happening because of these closed communities that get in and jump in and do whatever they need to do so just be careful with those ones and don't invest too much that's what i'm going to say now there has been issues where a lot of people have been talking about picks, market picks, right? And I have my market picks, right? BTC, Ethereum, you know, Cardano, Solana, Polkadot, um, XRP as well, by the way. This season is going to be XRP as well. When I mean this season, I mean when I enter again. When I re-enter, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for the market button. So I'm patient, right? It doesn't matter if we go to 100K today, if we go to 200K today, I still don't care. I'm just going to be patient. I'm going to wait until the market ends and comes to a bottom. That's when I want to re-enter. That's my strategy. It doesn't have to be yours right um, that's because I'm in a position I've mentioned this on many videos as well that currently I'm in a position where I cannot afford to lose any funding that I have because I've got other use for it and other important use for it right and in fact my important use is survivability I need to survive whatever's coming right now whatever I feel is coming so I want to survive that but I'm going to need cash for that crypto ain't going to work for me so once I go beyond that then cryptos uh, or the cash would be a surplus so then I could use it to rebuy and re-enter the market so that's just my long-term strategy right of course hodling portfolio that's a whole different story that's what you hodl so whether you hodl it for one year two year five year ten years it doesn't matter you're still hodling that right so that's that now the guys who who have made significant amount of gains they want to cash out um as i said before as well what i what i suggest is make sure your number one target your goal is to take your initial investment out because if you're thinking about i'm going to take my initial i'm going to take 500x or whatever 500 percent profit or whatever 5x um it might not happen for you your first target should be i want to take my initial off the table first right so right now if you have an opportunity you did 5x or you did 10x right or you did 20x i, I don't know what you did right but if you've done it for, for whatever reasons good good luck to you and I, I really respect that the first thing you can do right now is take your initial out okay i'm in a great position i've done 5x i did 10x right my btc i bought it at 10k i bought it at 20k i bought it at 30k whatever right i'm double my btc okay i'm a 2x i'm gonna take half of it off now market could go to 200k yeah i'm still taking half off now right so if you can have that mindset and you can take off a certain portion of your um uh, your initial investment in fact i, I would always say 100 percent of your initial investment if you could take that out you're a winner by all means you're an absolute winner now of course people like marco salem might say you're an idiot we are an idiot you should hold on forever no you, you don't hold on forever he doesn't buy with his own money he buys with money that he sells his stocks and shares for convertible bonds or whatever convertible shares Throw the money in a bond pay uh two uh, three quarters of a percent interest for about five years and uh then we took that 650 million dollars and we bought bitcoin with it so we're kind of borrowing money less than one percent interest Basically, free money that he's receiving from his investors who are investing in his company and he's using that funds to buy that's all he's doing right so yeah you want to follow that route go and 
get to his level first, get some free money, and then you can also do this as well. You can hodl it for life. It doesn't matter, right? When you have the ability to borrow funds at zero interest or maybe half a percent, you're going to be in that level. In fact, other companies can't even get to this level. So free money, buying crypto, talking about it, and giving all the big talk, doesn't matter. Not that I hate Michael Saylor for any reason. Believe me, I love him. I respect him. But I just... The, the things that he's preaching, it doesn't work for the general um, public or, you know, the general audience, right? And let's just put it this way. So just be careful. Don't fall for the hype. That's all I'm saying, right? Um, and being careful means that if you're in it, you've doubled your money, right? There's no harm in taking off um, some of the um, profit, uh, sorry, some of the initial investment that you put in if, if you can't take at least 100% of it, right? Um, so that's what I was always say. Now... I've talked about my strategy. My strategy is that I'm going to be patient. I'm going to wait, um, looking at the big boys. What are they interested in? What are they doing, right? And a few names pop up, right? You know, Cardano, Polkadot, Solana, even XRP to to some extent. And I'm talking about like WEF and this and that. BTC doesn't pop up, right? But Ethereum does, right? So I'm looking at some of those anyway. So, you know, and those are what my deciding factors are. It's like, okay, what are the big boys interested in? Because I will only make money if they're interested in it. And as long as the hype is there, because they've got the funding to create the hype. So as long as they're doing that, I'm going to make money. If they don't, then the hype dies out. I don't make money, right? So I've mentioned this many times before as well. BTC is my number one right now, but it won't be in the future. Because if some... And again, <laughs> I haven't introduced myself. My name is Sham. If you're here for the first time, thank you very much for watching the show up to this particular moment. Um, this is Zero X Files. Um, and I always say the truth is always out there. So there are plenty of stuff that I have said um, on my videos and my videos are like kind of a, a timeline of things I've said and, you know, the predictions that I've made. So these videos are relevant to the day and the future. Um, but a lot of the people who come back and watch it later on, please keep an eye out for the when I mentioned the time, the date. So that way you understand that it is relevant for today. I'm talking about today and I'm continuing from where I left off in another video in XYZ. Right. So that's that. And I, I really want to uh, like kind of, you know, be there and say to people, like, guys, you know, there is no right decision. There is no wrong decision. Right. The right and wrong would be. Um, if you lose your concentration, if you become greedy, either way, long, short, doesn't matter. Don't become greedy. And in order for you to stop being greedy is use a stop loss. That's what I wanted to say, right? It's very important. Now, the charts are doing what they're doing. So far, everything's looking good. Um, I do see um, we were overbought on the daily. So we might come in for a correction. However, within that time frame, we also have 12 hours, 8 hours, and 4 hours. And some of them are resetting um, in the stochastic RSI and the RSI, which gives us an opportunity for another little pump up, right? As I said, I do feel that we are going to go and test that 68K because that's a very important level for us and it's a deciding level for us as well because that kind of flips the entire trend from bearish to bullish, right? So that's very important. Um, but larger time frames is a different story. Now, of course, a lot of people have also, this is another one I missed, right? A lot of people have also asked that because of what I do, like, you know, how I kind of sometimes tell you what's going to happen hours later days later weeks later months later so people a lot of people have asked me it's like how long do you think we have remaining in this run um i would say between three to six months that's the best case scenario worst case scenario we're looking at pff, three months right i wouldn't really go beyond three months right um, so whatever happens, we are going to end the market with fireworks, right? Whether we go bullish or we go bearish, whatever happens, there is going to be a point where the entire market is going to pull out. Um, and I don't want to be there to see that. So if the coins that I'm already in, right? So those ones, I do already have a stop loss. I have a level where I can't go below. So I'm okay to get out at that level. But there are other liquid assets that I have. I'm not too fussed about it, right? Whether it goes down to zero, I'm not too fussed about it because in the future they'll come back and really not interested. So, um, you know, that's how I'm kind of playing my thing. But as I said, my biggest, biggest uh, portion of funding that I have, I'm actually not even touching it right now. I'm just using it for other stuff, other ventures and other X, Y, Z. And of course, I'll be happy to mention those ventures once I've, 
done certain things and if I think I you know it's something I can basically promote or something I can talk about on YouTube I would definitely do that it could be you know me opening a restaurant <laughs> I will happily show you guys a restaurant you don't have to come and visit right but uh, I would happily show that because it will be an achievement right so any achievements that I have I will happily happily show those to you um, and if I think it's going to be educational of course I want to teach that to you as well and I want to show that to you if it's not then I won't mention it so that's how I'm going to leave this video until the next one uh market currently still sitting at 63,145 and i'm not going to talk about the lines and all the drawings that we've done my lines haven't changed my chart is exactly the same chart i've had god knows since when um same chart exact same chart so um you know they don't matter of course again you want to see the charts um, I do post the chart on um, Discord a lot. So again, if you want to join Discord and talk to me, by all means, not a problem. Um, and if you have anything else to add, if you, whatever you feel, let me know in the comments, right? And I do reply to the comments, apart from the scammers, right? So there has been a bunch of scammers that I've recently seen, and please, please, please be careful. So they'll come on and they'll give you a seed phrase to a wallet. It's, a, it's, it's one of those wallets that it's like a malware. It will hijack you. As soon as you enter that seed phrase and enter that wallet, it's going to hijack your entire device. So don't don't tap that. Don't even bother experimenting. There's nothing there, right? You know, whatever you see is fake. So please, please don't do that, right? Um, it's the last thing you want to do. Don't fall for these kind of traps. There's a lot of scams going on, and especially whenever the market hypes, everyone's getting there. A lot of people have lost money or been desperate. They're the ones that get affected the most. So please stay safe nobody's giving free money right there's no such thing as free money unless it's airdrops that's a whole different story even those are kind of limited now as well um so just be careful that's all i'm saying i don't see um anything bad um for at least for another week or two right i don't see any anything bad all the market structure everything is screaming is kind of bullish so i'm okay with that um i would like to see the entire so next month is very important basically next month end of next month is when we uh, might end up seeing some bearish signs if right and don't hold me to it right I'm saying we might um, but so far everything is um, kind of saying yes we are, we are gonna go up right at least for two to four weeks um, it may be prolonged we don't know yet that data doesn't exist guys anything I say here doesn't exist right next month isn't in existence yet um, until we enter October and any dates I'll give you right now um, they don't exist either because we haven't entered that so understand this I'm not giving you some predictions or whatnot I'm just saying just be cautious that's it nothing more uh, it's 22 minutes I don't want to make it any longer I do appreciate you guys coming to the show please smash that like button hit that subscribe if you haven't already share with one other the least you could do um so to encourage me to come and make a few more videos i know i was going to do a live stream yesterday but i just didn't know what to talk about believe me I've, honestly you know when, when, when the kind of content i do right and this is going to be a bit personal right so the kind of content i do is not like your average joe average um youtuber right where they have a script they have this whole structure and they can come on daily and they can continue to do certain things i don't do that um, in my videos, I'll tell you what's going to happen a week, month, two months, like I did just moments ago, right? Or I said, like, October, something could happen based on... Uh, now, where do I base this on? Basis on chart, right? When I look at the chart patterns, it gives me a rough idea what to expect. Whether it happens or not is a different story, right? But that's how I kind of operate. So if most of the community members or uh, they will understand that I've already told you what's going to happen. So that, therefore, it makes it more difficult for me to come on and talk about something unless i want to talk about something random unless you guys want me to talk about aliens religion culture politics or whatever i don't do politics but i could talk about it because i freaking hate politics i um, definitely would love to give my views and i'll probably get cancelled and banned from youtube completely but yeah i don't like politics um but there are plenty of things i've got inside me i can talk about right um there are plenty of views uh, cultural, religious, what, whatever. There's so many different views, right? Science, you name it, right? Um, but I'll happily come and talk about it if people want it. If people don't, then I'm not, I'm not really interested because I know most of the people that come here actually come here for crypto. 
um, which is quite funny. Uh, you know, I don't do much crypto these days, but they do come for the crypto. And then there are, uh, I do get a lot of views on some religious content that I did, um, which was just cultural, just religious stuff that I did in time for some festivals and whatnot. And now they've kind of overtaken the entire channel, which is great as well, but gives me um, uh, ammo, gives me data to say what my community like to see. So most of my subscribers, I know what they actually like to see. So I might do something in the future uh, to help them out. But right now, <laughs> let's stick to what we got. This is Zero X5, my name is Sham, and uh, the truth is always out there. Other than that, my dudes, my guys, my girls, everybody, whatever, right? My family, um, I'm gonna catch you guys on another one very soon. Let me know in the comments what you would like to see. I will definitely come and do something. Adios, mamigos.